Bonjour. Today we are going to learn about nouns and articles. So just as a quick reminder um, in English, what is a noun? It is a, I'm going to put a noun, is a person, place, or thing. All right, so um, as in English, right, nouns in French have numbers, so it's either singular or plural. Um, but French nouns, right, they also have the gender masculine or feminine. So let's look at this. Let's have masculine, singular. Then we'll do feminine. No, let's do masculine, plural. Then we'll have feminine. Singular. Just as an example. And feminine plural. All right. So um, in French, we have masculine and feminine. So what's going to happen is um, as we go along, I'm going to be uh, helping you guys recognize when you see uh, a noun in French um, you'll be able to you'll get to a point where you'll be able to see it and you'll know okay that's masculine or feminine um, it'll take some time but just be patient so masculine singular um, here's an example le café okay so the café so this is an example of um, this is an example of a masculine singular one. Then if you wanted to make it plural, you would just add an S, just like we do in English. Then it would be the cafes. Les cafés. Feminine singular, you have la bibliothèque. Okay, the library. And then feminine plural will be les Bibliothèque. I'm running out of room. <laughs> the libraries. Okay. Um, so really quick, let me just point this out. Oh, I'll point it out in a second. Just kidding. So we're really just concentrating on nouns at the moment, and then we'll talk about articles. We have definite and indefinite in French. Um, so let's move down a little bit. So uh, now, I'm just going to give you a couple points related to this, okay? So usually, nouns that designate a male, uh, sorry, nouns that designate a male are usually masculine, okay? So I have some examples for that. Um, and it's the same thing with female, okay, so nouns that designate a female are usually feminine, okay. For the sake of time, I'm not gonna rewrite that part. So um, what we have, okay, we have masculine, give me some masculine versus feminine over here. A few more examples. So masculine, you have l'acteur which is the actor, I'll put the actor, okay, and then you have l'actrice, which is the actress, okay. Um, let's see, le chanteur is the, the um, singer or the male singer. And la chanteuse is the female singer. Um, and then let's do one more. We have le petit ami, which is the boyfriend. 
And then we have La Petite Amie, which is their girlfriend. All right, so because um, these are all feminine people, right, you're going to use the feminine form, um, la. And then masculine, same thing, but le, because it's masculine. Okay, these are masculine. Um, they designate a male. Okay, so we're going to move on. Um, let me see. There are some that have no natural gender, okay? They can be either masculine or feminine. So... That'll be our next point. Nouns for objects. That have no natural gender. Um, can be either masculine or feminine. Okay, so some examples for that. Let me give you another masculine feminine chart. Um, I'm just going to give you a couple examples. We have le bureau, which um, is either the office or desk. It can mean either one. Um, okay, a desk is not masculine or feminine in English, right, but uh, in French it is masculine. And then feminine, la chose, just means the thing. <laughs> um, I'm just going to give you guys one example. For the most part, uh, what you can do is look at the ending. And if it's masculine, okay, so I'm not going to do that. If it's feminine, it mainly has an E at the end, okay? There are exceptions, and I'm going to point out those exceptions, and I'm going to pound those exceptions into your brain to make sure that you uh, don't forget the exceptions that we do have, but for the most part, if you're not sure, oh, is this noun masculine or feminine, look at the ending, and if it's, it in, ends in an E, for the most part, it is going to be feminine, okay? Um, then uh, forming the plural, right? We talked about that a little bit um, at the top. Whenever you're making something plural, for the most part, you just add an S, okay? So let me just do this really quick. Um, ends in an E, probably feminine, ends in a S, or an X, it's plural, okay? All right, um, I'm going to move on really quick. We need to do, we have definite and indefinite articles, okay? This video is getting long. Okay, so I'm just going to put articles. Oh my gosh, R2. Yeah, definitely spelled that wrong. This is what happens when you speak two languages. Look at that, that looks crazy. Okay, articles. Um, so basically we have definite article, the, okay? Um, difference between definite and definite, um, let me write this down, definite means the, okay? Somebody asks you, hey, can you go get the chair? You're like, what chair? And they're like, the chair, like they're pointing to a chair, the chair, not just any, a chair, doesn't matter, the chair, okay? So it's definite. And then indefinite just means a, or can mean some in the plural, okay? so. Um, again, same thing. If I was like, hey, go get, go get a chair. You're like, what chair? It doesn't matter. Just get a chair. A chair is indefinite. You're not really being specific there, okay? Um, so our definite articles in French, we have le, which is masculine. You have la, which is feminine. And then you have les, plural. And then the French do not like vowels next to each other. So if it starts with a vowel, if it's before a vowel, you're going to do L apostrophe, okay? We'll have lots of practice with this, so um, don't panic if you're a little bit confused. It's totally fine. Then we have un, which is the masculine form. Une, which is feminine. And des, 
which is the plural form, okay? Uh, so if you wanted to say a desk, you would need to choose, okay, is desk masculine, feminine, or plural? Okay, we said way up here that desk, bureau, is masculine. So I'm going to use the masculine form. If I want to say a desk, I would say un bureau. If I wanted to say the desk, I'd say le bureau. If I wanted to say the desks, I would say les bureaux. If I wanted to say some desks, it would be des bureaux. Okay, so just depending on what you want to say, this is how you're going to uh, differentiate these. So um, one more point, just so you guys know, just a little reminder for those of you who already do know, say means it is. And you pronounce it like say, like say what you need to say. Okay, anybody? John Mayer? All right. Um, and then the plural form of say, instead of it is, you know, you want to say like there, um, is ce sont. Okay. All right, that is the end of the video. We will do a lot of practice with this. Make sure you have your notes done and you're ready to put them in your notebook tomorrow. A demain, au revoir.